Nail, there's an albino Namekian behind you. Hey guys, I'm back here continuing with um, what if the albino Namekians were canon. Continuing right where we left off. For those of you who haven't seen part one, check it out. We told a pretty interesting um, backstory between the um, the drought that almost wiped out the Namekians and how the albino Namekians sort of tied into it. With um, basically an all-out war between albino, albino Namekians and the original Namekians that we all know and love caused the um, devastation towards the planet and Guru, who was both skilled as a warrior and as a mystic Namekian, able to bring back to life the Dragon Balls and banish the albino Namekians off their planet, as well as um, restoring their planet. And well, with that we are now continuing with that story, where um, basically the albino Namekians have been set to an almost sort of barren wasteland of a planet that there is a bit of life to um, support the albino Namekians, but not, not enough. They will eventually die out and go extinct. And well, realizing that this is their, their fate, they decide to actually perform the Namekian fusion ritual to one of their most promising warriors, Sax. And he, and that way the spirit of the albino Namekian would live on in Sax. Who, after the ritual, that's about 150 albino Namekians that were left over after being wiped out from the drought that nearly destroyed all life on Namek, as well as um, the bunch of others that were wiped out arriving on this planet. And a couple more that were actually sent off to other places in the universe like space and you know them dying in horribly in space after all with the Pol with Polunga with your wish you have to be specific otherwise Namekians could end up anywhere you know could end up in your toilet for all you know so check your toilet guys I'm telling you <laughs> but yeah mo ha about half of them ended up on space the other half in the um, planet I was just talking about which has no name because it's something I made up in my head. Anyway, so with that, the story has continued with um, Sax gaining the attaining power of the remaining surviving albino Namekians, making him really insanely, ridiculously power powerful. When suddenly a ship comes to orbit, a Freezer Force ship looking for um, power levels to recruit into Freezer into the Freezer Force. And this is after the events of Dragon Ball Super Broly, by the way. Just to make that clear. And well, um, they basically take Sax aboard Freezer's ship and bring him before the Emperor himself. Ah yes, I remember your kind, the Namics. I had a good time exterminating them along with their entire planet. I hope you don't bear no ill will. <laughs> Not at all. Those green bastards got what they deserved. I only wish I could have done it myself. Oh, well, I like you. But, well, their friendship was pretty much brought to an abrupt end when, um, Sax pretty much powered up a huge... a huge key blast, um, blowing a big hole blowing um, the win one of the windows off a of freezer's ship and pretty much sending everyone out the airlock except for the two cronies who found him on on that planet to begin with. Freezer, um, he took a bit of damage from the key blast and his um he's um in space um knocked out and you know a bit sore. I haven't killed him, I haven't killed him and remember he is of a race that can breathe in space. He's just um, floating around somewhere upstairs at the moment. Well, meanwhile, um, the shields on Freezer's ship have gone up and, you know, has prevented Sax himself and everyone else from being thrown out of orbit, which he figured that would happen, otherwise why do it? 
and well him being filled in by those other two cronies who rescued him from this planet he sets his sight on earth in order to um in his words hmm i will beat those namekians on earth to the inch to the very inch of their lives and in order to find out where the other namekians are then i will kill them Yep, he is a man possessed, this guy. And with that, he pretty much flies off to Earth, and he's pretty much met instantly when he lands with the entire Z warriors there waiting for him. After all, they can sense energy. And a power level and unique energy that weird, you know, that's going to catch the um, attention of everyone. Beerus, Whis, you name it, they all sensed it. Beerus and Whis don't really look to get involved. They're having fun at Capsule Corp, um, eating their fill and just watching the battle from a distance like they always do. Hmm, these albino Namekians, I, I never really knew what happened to the, them, my lord. Yeah, so what? It's not really our concern anyway. My only concern is my next meal. And... While the whole battle is going down, um, the Z Warriors are not having much luck because, like I said, Sax is really stupidly, insanely powerful. And, well, it's not until he has his um, battle with Piccolo, who um, has some sort, a little bit of knowledge to how the um, Albino and Makings fought, you know, being, um, having, you know, a part of Nail within him, who was told all about the albino Namekians from Guru, and of course he's got Kami's intelligence as well. So that's keeping him from being totally annihilated by this powerhouse of an albino Namekian. You know, even Vegeta, Goku uh, have taken a bit of a beating to him. And with um, Piccolo slowly and surely losing more and more and getting weakened, Sax actually grabs his chest in a very familiar gesture. I'm sure we've seen this familiar gesture before upon Namix. Sax, if he can't get Piccolo to talk, then his plan is basically absorb Piccolo into his being and hopefully that information will bring him to where new Namek is so he can exact his revenge on the rest of them. But that is where he has fallen into Piccolo's cunning trap because he grabs onto on a Sax and absorbs him instead. And that pretty much ends the battle. You know, you had the likes of um, Goku, Vegeta, even Frieza who shows up in the middle of the battle to lend a hand, not having much luck with this guy. But Piccolo, Piccolo's brains ultimately win him the day here in this story. And with Sax's, Sax being absorbed, Piccolo has now achieved a new power of, of the Namekian level. A power that could very well rival Beerus. I would say could most likely match Goku in Ultimate Instinct. Is it Ultra? Uh, it's Ultra Instinct, sorry. And I think that is where we're going to leave things. So tell me, what do you guys think? Did you like this story? Um, I don't know if there's really any grounds to really continue it from that point, but I don't know. If I think of something else to do with it, I might do a part three. But for now, this is the official conclusion. Anyway, thanks for, um, thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And who'd have thought, you know, Freezer fighting on the same side as the Z? Well, he did that in the Tournament of Power. And, well, yeah, you, you, you don't um, throw a key blast in Freezer's face and get away with it. And destroy his ship. Anyway, catch us later.